Today on Workflow Wednesday, we're teaching you a little trick about transparency in Photoshop. Shop, shop, shop. I gotta, I'm gonna add some reverb to that in post so it sounds cooler. We are teaching you how to lock transparent pixels in Photoshop so you can do cool effects and not affect the whole picture. Let's go. Alrighty, so we've got our mountain picture open in Photoshop. I've already separated the layers by selecting the sky and the mountain, and you can see they're on different pixels are selected. Now, because both are selected, you have transparent pixels in both of those photos. So if you get rid of the background, you can see the transparent pixels all around it and vice versa for the mountain. So let's say you want to, for the sake of example, add some text behind it. Let's say, subscribe. We'll make that nice and big. Okay, and we're gonna drop that down a layer so it's behind the mountain. Now you wanna add like a cool gradient to that text, but you don't want it to affect the whole picture or everything above it. You could like add the gradient on a new layer, erase everything away, select the text, and just so it, it shows on there. But there's a quicker, easier way, which is what I'm here for. What I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. You're gonna go over to the right side, right above the layers, and rasterize your type once you're happy with the way it looks. And then right above the layers, you'll see this little checkerboard pattern next to the word lock. Click that, boom. That means your transparent pixels are locked. Anything you do to that layer, the transparent areas of that layer will not be affected. So we want a nice light blue gradient over our text. We're just gonna go to the gradient tool by pressing G, drag a little gradient over. Boom, now it looks like the subscribe is in the clouds. And if you look at the actual photo itself, I'll get rid of the background here, you can see that subscribe now has that gradient, but nothing else on the layer was affected. So now we're gonna try this, a similar thing with the background. Let's say you want, you know, it looks kind of like it's midday or whatever, but we want that little bit of orange or a little bit of purple in the sky. We're gonna go over to that layer, make sure we select that little checker pattern right there. Now it's locked. Let's, uh, let's make the sky a little bit purple at the top here. Gradient tool and just drag it down. You know, we're, we're creating some sort of fantasy land purple background thing. It's for the sake of the video, guys. Come on, it doesn't have to be perfect realism all the time. So we've got it. If you hide the other layers, you can see the purple only affected the non-transparent areas. A trick like this just might save you a lot of time in the long run instead of having to go back and erase everything that you don't want covered. Just hit that little lock button. One little button and you can have fancy subscribe mountain pictures with pixels selected and transparency on, blah, 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 blah. I don't know where I'm going with that, but I hope you found the rest of the tutorial before I lost my mind helpful. And if you did, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, like the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love ya. I lost my mind. I lost my mind in that video. What? I wonder if it makes sense. Does it make sense? I mean, it's a pretty straightforward tutorial. You just have to click the checkerboard. I lost my mind. I'm a crazy person.